Hello, trading is closed on May the 19th, 2017. At yesterday's close, I had lower targets. I was looking for 23.59.66. I also had the standard caveat that capping up, making it capping sharply in the undesired direction kills the call before the open. That's what happened. This is a wall into the close. Here's a hole in the wall gap. These things tend to fill usually pretty quickly and usually Monday or at the latest by Tuesday's open this gap will fill and there'll be support under the low of the wall. <clears throat> we did hit this 2378.18 ultimate target so we'll cross it off the list but since 2359.66 did not print within its preferred time frame we have to add that one to the list. There's a new MEJT target of 2378.37 Ultimately, it should print, no time limit, but usually you don't have to wait long. Early on, there was an ultimate buy and ultimate sell in the morning. Usually, it leads to a wishy-washy morning when you rally too soon like this. One should be alert for a reversal because these things don't stick. In the afternoon, while the market's rallying all day, MJT says it's a false move. That... <clears throat> has been satisfied, but the ultimate sell signal hasn't. We stopped right at the MJT support level. We should see 2378.37 pretty soon. Capping up, hitting new highs, and not holding, all, not holding on to any of them is not good. It's particularly not good with this pattern, which tends to close near the day's high almost always. If we gap up and promptly take out this high, the Monday call for a drop is killed before the open. Anything else, we should have a drop and probably a very sizable one. Drops like this late on Friday uh, tend to carry over into Monday's trade because when you're rallying all day and the weekend's approaching it's not usually the amateurs who start selling like this this is our major trend line the break is a valid break all we've had so far is a retrace to the trend line we should drop at least 145 points from this line the long-term expectation is that we'll drop probably to around 2081 and then rally to 2634 to end the bull. This will probably take months and months, possibly over a year. This is our count. I believe purple A of blue C ended and that purple B very likely ended today. This was the count I've been using. I had this as an alternate for A, and I'm switching the A from here to here. Here's the reason. If that's A, then you have an ABC with C equal to A. You have another ABC with C equal to A. You then have a clear five waves down, which is why I think A is over. We then have an ABC with uh, the B retracing about 78. This is 78.6. Doesn't show up too well. Pretty close to 78.6% of wave A. Let's, we've gone over these counts before. I had to redo them. I won't put you to sleep with all the work I did, but there is a way to make this thing work. Let's just go over this count from black B of purple A. I have, starting from here, here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five. That would be A. There's an A, B, C with C having a fib relationship to A, and the target here being a Fibonacci target of the prior consolidation. 
my expectation is that this is going to hold. I look for a drop and probably a very sizable one. We should find support under this low. <clears throat> but I think we're going to go much lower and next week could be a pretty brutal week. Gapping up and promptly taking out this high kills the call. That's today's call.